Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. I have a Gmail account. Who doesn't? I mean, it's free. You might as well sign up for it. I mean, unless, of course, you're happy with the email that you're currently using. Do you use Gmail? Do you like it? Why? I'm interested in your thoughts. Uh, leave a video response to this particular video uh, stating whether you like Gmail or you don't. If you're not familiar with the Labs feature, uh, it's something that will extend Gmail's functionality and you can turn certain features on or off, which I've done, and that didn't really help. I'm still not a huge Gmail fan. However, uh, Jamie Clark, all the way from the UK, is a Gmail fan and he submitted a top five Gmail Labs features. And uh, you can uh, click the little green beaker at the top of the Gmail screen, of course, when you've logged into gmail.com. He says he's been using Gmail for years and is loving the new Labs features. Uh, he's gotten into the habit of checking to see if there are any new Labs features. In fact, I usually find out about new Labs scripts from seeing other people check their Gmail. I'm like, whoa, how did you do that? Oh, it's a, it's a Labs thing. I'm like, well, why didn't I know? I mean, that's the kind of stuff I like turning on sometimes. Uh, so here we go, uh, some suggestions uh, for uh, his favorite Gmail Labs features. Number five, title tweaks. This moves the inbox number of messages uh, count of the page title to the front of the page title, meaning that when you have lots of tabs open, you can still see when new emails come in. Very, very useful, especially on smaller screens like for netbooks. Uh, number four, old snaky. Email can be and often is dull. Sometimes it's nice to distract ourselves with a simple game. You ever play the game Snake? In fact, on my first uh, cell phone, it was a Nokia device. It had the game on there, Snake. I could play it on a, a little, uh, you know, keypad. T9 to my way through victory. I remember the Atari game Surround too. That was kind of like Snake. I like. <laughs> Those are the sound effects we had back then, and sadly. I think I did a better job than that Atari game. Number three, remove labels from subjects, okay? Because you can basically uh, uh, label uh, emails with different labels, and you could consider this kind of like copying or moving emails into folders, because Gmail doesn't really use folders uh, necessarily. Of course, when you pull those messages in through IMAP, then it has to use a folder structure for compatibility. But he says that removing labels from subjects is especially useful if, like him, you have a netbook with a small screen that you use often to check your email. So essentially, it's, the script hides the labels so that you can see more of the subject line for the messages. So if you have a small screen, consider using that one uh, from Gmail Labs. Number two, inbox preview. This is one that I found out from a friend. I was like, how did you get the uh, messages to load before the full Gmail interface loaded? She said, well, I, I just turned on the, the, the Labs feature. I'm like, really? Yeah, for real. So essentially, um, I, I'm not gonna demonstrate it because I have messages in my inbox in, in Gmail, but before the page loads, it throws uh, the instant preview up so you can see if any new messages have come in or what's in your inbox before the page actually loads fully. So it's, it's just a quick preview. It, it's actually kind of nice. That's one I would recommend toggling, especially for slower connections, because you get to see what's there, at least as far as subject lines, dates, and, and you know other fields before everything uh, fully loads. Number one, the mark as red button. That's R-E-A-D as opposed to R-E-D. Um, he says he's constantly marking email as red without actually opening them up. Notifications from sites such as Twitter, Facebook, YouTube don't often need to be read, but I still prefer to have them sent to my inbox as unread just in case. Uh, so uh, the mark as read feature is something that you might want to uh, have at your fingertips. So these are just five of his suggestions uh, of, of labs features that you can toggle right now in Gmail. Uh, it's in the settings. And uh, just extend the functionality or features uh, of Gmail. And they are, are constantly adding new features. Of course, like I said, I'm, I'm really not sold on a lot of Google's UI. Uh, it's just not really wonderful for me. The, the search, I'm fine with. But everything else, mm, it's kind of like... <sighs> not that exciting. It's really boring. That was a genuine yawn, by the way. I was trying to figure out how to sneak it in, and I finally got it in there because the UI kind of makes me on. Thank you for the tips. Anybody else have any other uh, Gmail Labs suggestions to pass along? Uh, feel free to. And as I said, interested in your video response on if you're using Gmail or not and why. I do, but just not as a primary uh, email account. I'm just not. I the interface just kind of bugs me. I'm more of a tripane interface, live preview kind of guy. That's me. 
you're probably different. My email address, chris at perillo.com. Of course, you're also welcome to join me in our community of geeks at geeks.perillo.com. Then we also got this chat room right here. It's a part of the live video feed that's going out 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Don't believe me? Well, look at the time. I'm, I'm sitting here. I'm pointing at the subject there, Gmail, but I meant to point over there. Uh, it's about midnight, and we're still hanging out, and there's more than one of me. I tweeted it out uh, even this late at night, and we got about 100 more viewers uh, because I record and, and stream this particular whatever you want to call it, show, experience, whatever, live. It's on the Internet live can't really get it on your tv unless of course you have an internet connection connected to your tv pulling the live video feed in through your television is anybody doing that i'm not even doing that no matter we're typically talking tech right here 24 hours a day seven days a week at live.perillo.com we'll see you later